stop with uh, Sam from Daily Telegraph. Annika, Hi. Congrats on winning. What is your uh, rudimentary response? Outstanding. Incredible. From the start to the end. Uh, big compliment uh, to the team, uh, to the players. Uh, against our top side, I think uh, we had an incredible performance and uh, we fully deserve to win the game, I think. And... Uh, and I have to praise them because I know how difficult it is and what t Brighton does to teams. And um, and we didn't allow that to happen, so I'm super happy. Can I just ask you about Martin Odegaard, who has had a bit of a dip in the form a few weeks ago, but today was sort of playing one of those usual passes and had his best. How important is that to you? Well, he wanted to celebrate uh, his beautiful birthday today in a great way, and he's done it. And um, with a win, with a huge performance, and not only him. I think the team individually, against this team individually, the way they play, the way they press you, they go man to man, you have to be so good, so accurate, so precise, so intelligent um, to, to do what we have done today. And uh, they've done it. Sammy from the Daily Mail. Hi. Ask a question about the patience that your, that your, your team showed today. You must be kind of just delighted with that aspect of the performance, but also before the game, delighted that there was a little bit of illness in the camp and having that kind of fortitude to fight through that, that yeah. moment as well. Absolutely, and we have to be patient, but at the same time, we have to be really determined against this team. In the moment you have sets and doubts, they start to open you up, they start to frustrate you and dominate with the ball. We didn't allow that happening today. And, uh, and we show a lot of maturity, but it's a lot of intelligence. This game against them requires to be really intelligent in certain areas especially, and, and we've done that in a, in a really good way. And regarding that, yeah, we had some issues in the camp um, with Jorginho as well. We had another issue, so it's 5 6 now. So, yeah, we need players. Jordan Hi, Annika. Hi. Um, it's the only small concern that we had so many chances and perhaps you should have taken more in the first half. You know, is it even, you've got that last five, ten minutes. Yes, but uh, if we generate more, the probability for scoring uh, will be higher, and that's the only thing that we can focus. We have great players that can define games and can finish action. Today we needed too many, you know, especially in big spaces, too many situations to kill the game, and that was uh, the fear during the game, especially after half time. That um, yeah, it's going to be one of those days because the moment you give something to this team, they are going to take it. Chris Matt from Miguel, um, Hi. Can I have find a spare of shooting boots? I think he had them. Uh, I think his confidence is, is growing and, and he feels more secure on that field. And, um, and the fact that scoring one is helping to score the second one, I think he's four in six games now. He should have scored a header as well today in a really good position. But I think overall, you know, taking that apart, his performances, the intelligence that he shows on the pitch, like the aggression, defensively, how he's working, it's, it's tough. Really good. Amy, can I take it? Miguel, do you feel that the handbrake is coming off a bit with this team? That, um, that, you know, to, to play with that level across the team today, with much more freedom, much more uh, pace, much more up-tempo, sometimes maybe early on in the season, the, the team's trying to get to know each other, you've got these players coming in with the right habits, right, and so on. Do you feel there's a click and that the handbrake's off? Like that? Yeah, well, I don't know about the handbrake. Um, Hopefully, I don't transmit them to play with a handbrake, but when you have 10 players defending in 22 meters, you cannot run. When you run, you run off the pitch. So hopefully, we can have 11 players on the pitch when there are a team that allows you spaces that wants to go man to man. There are huge spaces opening if you do the right things. Yeah, we can run, and we are a really dangerous team there as well. Uh, but yeah, I think the team is clicking because they're experiencing more and more time together. When you talk about Kai, for example, or, or Declan, um, especially uh, that they have played more games with us now, do you, they understand certain things much quicker. And it's easy to adapt in games because they get it. Yep. Can I ask for something similar? It's a very different result here in May. Is the way that you, <coughs> the guys played today and the maturity they showed an indication how you've come along as a team since last season? Yes, I think we had a really good first half last year as well. We should have scored one or two goals. We didn't, and that was my concern today as well at half time. Um, but uh, but especially when we conceded the first goal, how we reacted after the team went down because they, we didn't have that that belief today. We showed uh, a real determination from the beginning till the end um, to beat them, and uh, we managed to do that. Okay, last couple now, James from CBS. Mikhail, since the start of last season, you've got uh, 25 goals from set pieces. No one else has got more than. Um, what is that down? Is that just that you find lots of 
Well, this is a factor, obviously. The, the height is really important on set plays. Um, the takers are getting better and better. The understanding of where to attack in relation to what the opponent does good. Big credit to the coaches for all the work that they've done. And big credit to the players as well for buying into that and understanding how crucial this is um, in the game. Maybe. We can think about it. <laughs> Finally, Kaya from Football Hub. Miguel, it was also a really good competitive display from your team as well. Mm. Um, every week we've been talking about how teams have improved and maybe Gabriel has been thrown a little bit under the radar, but he may be one of the most underrated players in Santa Cruz and how consistent he is, you know, playing every single game is a really high level. Hopefully not, certainly not in the team, certainly not from me. I know his value and what he brings to the team, that I love that he has for, for defending and to keep a clean sheet and, and be on it in every single action. And what he transmits to the back line is, is absolutely um, incredible. And, um, and today we've done it against a team that has scored 32 um, occasions consecutively in the Premier League. So big compliment to the boys. On my side, it's zero uncertainty because I want him here. <laughs> okay, yeah? thanks very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you.